Now, here's the reality. Everywhere the virus has gotten bad, people mask up. There's lots of data to show this. Wherever the, when the virus got bad in Florida, people masked at a higher rate. When the virus got bad in New York, people masked at a higher rate because they thought that it was going to protect them because people act in self-preserving fashion. It doesn't matter to Joe Biden, though, because for Joe Biden, it's really about the virtue signaling of suggesting he's going to mandate mask wearing because you can't trust your neighbor. You can't trust your neighbor. Now, I wonder how many people really believe that they cannot trust their neighbor. And if they really believe that, maybe you shouldn't be out in public places with neighbors who are like that. But Joe Biden is really putting heavy focus on the mask and he's performing serious alarmism in the process. He, he's really banking on COVID getting a lot worse before the election. You can, you can, you can tell he is. Right, so Biden now is trying to proclaim that his legal team thinks he can push a nationwide mask mandate. There is no constitutional authority to do this. He's changing his tune on this because Trump has rightly pointed out that when Joe Biden and Kamala Harris say, we would love everyone to wear a mask, they don't have the authority to do that. So really, it's just them jabbering nonsensically. Now, Joe Biden has been roped into saying that he might have the legal authority to mandate that you wear a mask. There is no such authority under the Constitution. There's a question. I think it's, it can be answered in the positive. A question whether I can mandate over state lines that every single state has to comply. Our legal team thinks I can do that based upon the degree to which there's a crisis in those states and how bad things are for the country. And if we don't do it, what happens? But I would make the case. I'd make the case why it's necessary. Um, yeah, so, he, so he talked to governors is what he says. But even the implication that he has the constitutional authority to cram this stuff down is not, is not correct, obviously. Okay, meanwhile, supposedly Trump is the, is the person who is anti-science. Now, listen, Trump tweets out a bunch of stuff and he has tweeted out a bunch of stuff in the past that is anti-science. Okay, Donald Trump has tweeted out a bunch of crap about vaccines that I find absolutely absurd on every scientific level. Donald Trump has not been, I would say, friendly toward many of the findings of science in the past. Openly acknowledge this. When it comes to vaccines, what Donald Trump says about vaccines is significantly less dangerous than what Joe Biden is saying about the vaccines for this thing right now. Here was Donald Trump yesterday saying that Biden should stop his anti-vaccine nonsense. I'm calling on Biden to stop promoting his anti-vaccine theories because all they're doing is hurting the importance of what we're doing. And I know that if they were in this position, they'd be saying how wonderful it is. Uh, they're recklessly endangering lives. You can't do that. And uh, again, this is really a case that they're only talking, they just started talking a little bit negatively, and that's only because they know we have it. Uh, or we will soon have it. And the answer to that is very soon. Okay, so there, there was this controversy that broke out because yesterday the CDC director, Robert Redfield, made a couple of comments. He said there wouldn't be wide availability of the vaccine until the middle of next year. And then Trump came back at him and he said, no, it'll be available sooner. I, I think that what the controversy is over is who the vaccine will go to. Wide availability means like general public availability, but to the elderly, to the most vulnerable, to healthcare workers, it's supposed to be available by the end of the year. I think pretty much everybody agrees on that at this point. Now, wait, before you go, you have to know we are moving YouTube channels. Videos like this one will only be available on my personal YouTube channel, Ben Shapiro, starting September 28th. Click on the link in the description to subscribe so you don't miss a beat.